Hello there, Dr. Kehoe here with Health From Within. Today I wanted to share with you one of the tools that we use in our office to evaluate our patients to locate the cause of something like their low back pain. And that is the use of digital x-rays, and more specifically, what we call motion study x-rays. So in those motion study x-rays, we actually have our patients move so we can check how their spine is functioning while they move, not just while they're standing still. So we do evaluate and take x-rays while they're standing still to evaluate the structure, but then we do those motion studies to further check how their spine is actually functioning. So I'm gonna show you examples of those and how we use them to locate the cause of low back pain. So what I'm gonna pull up here is a normal low back x-ray from the front to start. So that's what we're looking at right here. There's two main things that we want to see on a low back x-ray from the front. The first is that the hips should be nice and level side to side. And the second thing is that the spine itself should be nice and straight midline up and down. Now I'm going to go through a normal motion study x-ray. So here's what a motion study x-ray looks like while bending to the left. Now there's two main things we want to see on a motion study x-ray. The first is these dots here in the middle. Those are those bumps you can feel in your back. So what we want to see is when we bend to the left like we are here, those should spin or rotate off to the left like they are on this image. The second thing is the disc space between the bones should pinch down on the side we're bending towards and then open up on the side we're bending away from. Okay, those two things, those two components, show me that the spine is working the way that it's supposed to and is not dysfunctional. Okay, so now what I'm going to, to do is show an example of one that isn't quite working how it's supposed to. So what I'm going to start with is, this is a low back x-ray from the front of this patient here. So what we see here is that the spine itself has started to veer off to this left side, and that puts abnormal stress and tension on the spine, on the muscles around the spine, on the nerves that come out from the spine and can start to contribute to low back pain. Now what I want to show you is an example of this motion study x-ray. So this is this patient's motion study x-ray going to the left. As we can see here, the motion looks pretty good. These bones here start to move and rotate off to the left like they should, and those spaces close down on the sides like they should and open up on the opposite side. However, when we go to the right, it's a completely different story. When we go to the right, as you can see demonstrated by these red lines, the spine stayed right in the middle. It did not rotate like it was supposed to. And then the same thing here with those spaces, they did not close down on the side that we bend towards and they did not open up quite as much as they should on the side we bend away from. So this tells me that we have more dysfunction, more problems with this patient going to the right. And this motion study x-ray helps us really get super, super specific on where the problems in the spine are so we can start to help our patients get better faster and get better results. So if you or somebody that you know is experiencing low back pain, fill out the information attached to this video and let's get you some help and get you scheduled for an evaluation. Thanks for watching.